I love baseball. When I was three years old, my parents signed me up for T-ball. And I love T-ball. My coach even nicknamed me Hollywood. Well, during our first game, it was time for me to bat. And I got up there, and I ran back, and I swung as hard as I could. I actually hit the ball. So I took off running. I rounded first, then I rounded second, and I could see my parents jumping up and down, screaming, run, run. And I was so proud of myself, I didn't know what to do. So I just started waving and running at the same time. I made it to third, and I could see my parents, and they had cameras. So I stopped and posed for a picture. I mean, when a camera's out, you've got to pose, right? So my parents started screaming, run, run. And when I finally started running again, I made it home, but was tagged out. I was so upset. I was having so much fun running all those bases, and it all ended when they said, you're out. So I went and sat in the dugout. I just sat. Then a little later, the coach said, Hollywood, you're up again. I had been so sad, I had forgotten I was going to get another chance. You see, God is like baseball because he always gives you a second chance. I mean, look at Peter. He denied Jesus three times but was given a second chance because God wasn't finished. David with Bathsheba is another great second chance story. One of my favorite second chance stories in the Bible is the Good Samaritan. Luke 10.30 says, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. So this Israelite was minding his own business, about to go to the mall and get some sharp new looking shoes for his girl, and bam, he gets jumped by two guys who beat him and take his money. You see, there are many things that can happen before we get a second chance. Sometimes, if you let it, life can beat you down. See, sometimes in life, we might have problems. Someone close to us might be really sick or have died. We might suffer from loneliness or depression. But things, they're going to happen in life. God never said it was going to be easy. He just said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. So this guy who was left for dead, he saw a priest coming. And he got a lot of hope that he was going to get saved. But he doesn't save him. Then a Levite comes, but he doesn't save him either. You see, when life beats us down, we often look to the world for our hope, because the world will offer false hope. But see, the world offers things to help that have no eternal value. The world offers fame, fortune, power, popularity, but see, all these things can't bring you to the hope that you really need. You see, I'm an actor, and I want to pursue my dream of acting or directing, but I don't have my hope in Hollywood or being rich. My hope's in Jesus Christ and his will and purpose for my life. So finally, a Samaritan comes by. The man knows he's not going to get saved, because Jews and Samaritans, they don't even speak to each other. But out of nowhere, the man does help him. You see, to me, the Good Samaritan represents God. See, many times, we don't want to humble ourselves and pray. But when you turn to him, God will always save you. See, life can beat you down. The world will offer false hope. But God will always save you. See, last year, I knew something was up with my family. I just wasn't sure what it was. Then I came home from school one day and my mom was crying. She told me that my dad had asked for her for a divorce. And right then and there, I, I felt empty inside. I didn't want to just see my dad on the weekends. She told me to keep praying for our family and that she would do everything she could to keep our family together. And because she humbled herself and turned to God, he changed my dad's heart, saving my family and our legacy. It's because if you turn to God, he will save you. Now, I said earlier that God is like baseball because he always gives you a second chance. But God's not like baseball because in baseball, three strikes, you're out. In nine innings, it's over. But with God, you never strike out. And with God, it's never finished. And what about you? Has God given you a second chance?